Hello and welcome to another special Transformers review. Today's the Halloween edition. Uh, sorry about my voice. Uh, I am a little sick right now. But I did promise to bring this to you guys before Halloween and I intended to do what I said I would do. So without further ado, the Transformer that reminds me the most of Halloween is Predaking. So yes, we are going to review the Predacons, aka Predaking. So sit down, stick around, and enjoy. Now the package here is actually of the uh, reissue gift set. Um, which pretty much means, I mean, the packaging kind of looks like the original Predaking box set. Although it's a little smaller than the original Predaking box set, the box. Uh, it still does have the carry handle on it, which is very cool. Um, everything else pretty much looks like the original box. Uh, basically except for the size. And a few other little minor things too there, like the 20th anniversary logo and stuff like that. But overall it does look the same. So, for the sake of this review, we're not going to actually review this set here. I have one loose that I'm going to review. Uh, because I don't want to open this one up. This one's still sealed. So, uh, yeah, this is just basically to show you guys, you know, kind of what the box looks like. So, uh, yeah, let's get these guys, well, not these guys, but let's get my other loose predicting out and let's start reviewing. So, we're going to start this review here with the Predacons in robot mode just to make it a little easier here we have Razor Claw we have Rampage Dive Bomb Tantrum and Headstrong so we have the four Predacons here which together merge to become Predaking uh, something that was cool about these guys originally even individually boxed in North America they each came with their fellow accessories to form Predaking um, while well as other than Devastator, for any of the uh, characters that actually appeared in North American TV series, uh, only Predaking and Devastator actually came packaged with their individual parts to form the Super Robot. Uh, everybody else basically, their parts came with the chess piece, with the Major, with the boss, the leader of the group. Such as uh, Menasaur, uh, all the accessories to form Menasaur came with them. Um, Motomaster and all the ones to form Bruticus came with uh, Onslaught and on and so on and so forth. So uh, Razor Claw, other than coming with swords as well and little guns, came with the head to Predaking, and he also came with the gun to Predaking. Then we have Rampage, came with one of Predaking's fists. Dive Bomb, which came with actually Predaking's wings, which are actually on him right there. We have a uh, Tantrum here, came with one of the foot pads for Predaking. And Headstrong came with the other foot pad. And of course, Dive Bomb, other than the wings as well, came with one of the fists to form Predaking. So very cool. So we're going to go through these guys one on one, check out the transformation. So let's start with Razor Claw. So here we have Razor Claw. As you can see, cool robot in traditional Halloween colors. That's why I did the Predacons here for the Halloween review because I find they embody the most of the Halloween colors. So I thought, yeah, every time I see fall leaves and all that, I always think about Predacons. So why not review them? So let's bring Razor Claw here into lion mode. I'm pushing his hands. Here, push those in, push these in, move this in like that. Let's bring out his lion paws, pull over his head, turn his lion head here, bring it down. the belt inside here they can bring down his legs a bit like this can pop his little tail and there you have razor claw in line mode 
As you can see, Razor Claw looks sharp in line mode. Definitely well built. Built for speed. Built for devastation. So definitely a very nice robot. So now we're going to transform our next Predacon, which is Rampage. Here we have Rampage in robot mode. He's actually very similar to um, to Razor Claw in both at most aspects. Let's just push in his hands again, pull out the feet, bring these in. He pretty much transforms pretty well, almost exactly like Razor Claw does. Except he doesn't have that belt in the back. And there you have it. So let's take a closer look. And here you have Rampage. So you can see he pretty much looks just like Razor Claw. And they're very similar. They transform the same. So they're pretty much a retool one of another. One of them being a puma and one of them being a lion. So, definitely still very cool. Alright, let's go on to the next one, which is Dive Bomb. Here we have Dive Bomb. I always love the fact that Dive Bomb's face came out out of the eagle mouth. I always did like that about him. So, let's transform this guy. Gonna push in the fist again. Bring up his feet here. Can actually pull out his little bird feet here. Down the tail in the back. And there you have it, you have Dive Bomb. Which is like a vulture. Let's take a closer look at this guy. So here's Dive Bomb. Looks pretty cool. Definitely stands very well, which is nice. Just bring up his face here a bit. You can even open up his mouth. So definitely another very cool Predacon. So next on our list is going to be Headstrong. Here is Tantrum. Tantrum is the bowl of the Predacons. This particular one here actually is metal. I don't know if you can see it shine a bit here. This is metal die-cast version. Uh, the Predacons actually came both in die-cast and with just plastic instead of die-cast. Actually the die-cast figure weighs a bit more than the plastic version. Um, the gift set, uh, the Japanese gift set reissue as well, um, actually has the metal version. Uh, which is what we saw in the beginning. Uh, this is actually just my loose predicating, so it's actually a mix and miss and match. Some of them are plastic and some of them are metal. So let's go ahead and transform this guy. Very simple. Although he is quite noisy, bringing the arms as such. here. Make sure you pull this thing the entire way out. You can actually go in and pull out his legs. As such. You can flip over his feet. 
pull down this other feature front here. Bring this in again, just like that. See the two little foot pads here turn in to cover the back. Take his head, swivel that around, and there you have him, the Raging Bull. As you can see, Tantrum, another very cool Predacon. Um, not much of a transformation, but uh, definitely does the job, because I love the way this guy looks like in bull form. Love it. Um, definitely one of the noisier transformations, but still very, very cool. You can actually take the Predacon foot pad this guy with the two pegs here and actually put it on his back kind of as a weapon as a weapon so pretty neat all right we're gonna go on to the next guy which is headstrong and here we have headstrong this guy's probably the most I don't know the most square of them all um, probably the most easy to in transformation well kind of I guess all you need to do for this guy well, that's wrong. Let's just turn into his little things here. Like so. Pull him out. Kind of like he did on uh, Tantrum. Bring down his two feet. Put in his arms here. And actually pull out his feet here. As long as this part's extended, you can pull out the feet. You can flip over his head, come in the back here, push that in. And there you have it. You have Headstrong. So here we have Headstrong. Um, definitely cool in the show. This guy was awesome. He basically never take no crap. And uh, yeah. Definitely a fighter to the very end. Um, I guess the mode, uh, the colors on this guy, just because there's yellow and, and red, like, prominent on him. It's kind of like a, the McDonald Predacon, if you will. Um, again, this guy, just like his other counterpart. Uh, tantrum, you can actually put Predaking foot pad here, which has one peg on this particular one. Because it's, they're both different. You can stab it, slap it on there and kind of arm them up. So now I'm going to take these guys and merge them into the parts that form Pritikin. So Headstrong can take off the little foot pad, bring in his legs here, bring these two guys, pull up his head, push this in, actually first bring this up a bit like that, push that in, then in the foot pads as such. As long as you notice that the foot pads are on here, that's good. Notice the head has to be pushed up a bit here because you need, this is where Razor Claw is actually going to attach. So you need this to be open a bit. So here you have Pretty King's foot, or one of his feet. So we're going to keep going here. Put it aside. Bring up Tantrum. Which will be pretty much the same thing. All kind of almost. Bring this in. back, bring in his legs, again you're going to get the bull head to come down, as you can see the, right there is a hole where the uh, razor claw is going to go, so you're going to make sure you don't cover that up, come underneath here and as you can see the foot pad actually connects in two holes here, two prongs, there we have one more foot. Next, we're going to do Razor Claw just for the intent of actually building this guy up. Um, so, Razor Claw, all you need to do is turn around here, bring in his line head on his chest. As so, bring up his feet here, bring in his tail, take this whole thing and wrap it around. Turn up the foot here. Bring out his arms or not, I mean, it's entirely your choice. I usually bring them out just because I like it better that way. 
So bring up his head. So there's razor claws. So we're just going to add a bone up here. You see, it fits snug in there. So we're halfway there. So next here we have Rampage. So I'll do for Rampage, bring in his head a bit. And again, I bring in his feet, his legs, and as such, bring in the tail. Bring down the arms a bit here. As you can see right in the back here, we have the little peg that comes out, which is what we use to connect to Razor Claw. And then we come in here, take one of Pretty King's fists. Actually, put it right here. You see, there's two holes to each of the pegs of the fist, so it holds on like that. So, bring this up and just connect it in there. There. Dive bomb, take him now. Remove the wings from the back. As you can see, it's pretty much the same. Underneath here, we have the two pegs here to put the fist in. And in there, push that there. There we go. Bring that down if you want to, or bring it up, whatever. Pegs there. Bring him in. There we go. Have another Predaking arm there. Take Predaking's wings here, or the wings to our buddy. Go in the back. Quick turn around here. You can actually bring down his, like to bring down his paw. So this will hold the wings in the back here. Bring this here. Plug that right in there. Go. Yep. Pull them out a bit. Down the head a bit. And the last touch for the robot part. Put on the head. And there you have Predaking. Now we can also take his guns here. Actually, what we should should have done here is something I didn't do. I'm going to flip the hand around here. Bring this whole thing around. I forgot about that part. This is the way it's supposed to be. Um, because here you can actually put the gun on right there. Sorry about that. So there he has his gun. Then I can put one of his, I guess his smaller swords here in his hand. So let's take a look at this guy a little closer. And so here we have Predaking merged together. The thing that was always cool about Predaking, and I've probably mentioned this before, is the fact that this guy, it wasn't comprised of one, you know, bigger robot and then four smaller robots for the limbs. This guy was five big robots that merged together to form one very big robot. So naturally he towers over the other combiners, um, which is very cool. Uh, always did like this guy. Love the color scheme on him. Um, love the fact that they were all animals and they all came with the swords and then Razor Claw came with this big, uh, super bitch ass gun um definitely always a very cool toy uh never had him as a kid i did have one of the predacons which was a uh, leader here razor claw uh the rest of them i never had them uh, naturally these are pretty expensive to get as a kid you can have both versions the die cast version and the plastic version die cast versions had the die cast chests chest part here wouldn't be plastic, it'd be die cast. Um, 
the reissue is die cast and some of the older ones are die cast too or are die cast or plastic so they tend to weigh a little more um, but no combined together definitely very cool stands very well or very easily thanks to the two foot plates not very not wobbly at all this guy's not gonna topple over anytime soon um, and overall and the Halloween colors too on them were always nice this guy always reminded me of Halloween so definitely a very very cool robot one of the most if not the most powerful combiner ever and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the review so until next time take care have a happy Halloween later guys